gaining financial literacy should be free. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to this wonderful channel. Before we dive into today's content, guys, please do me two favors. Please hit the like button. Number two, if this is your first or even your second time coming onto the channel and viewing my content, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Frank Talks Money. So guys, this past week, I was scrolling through YouTube um, looking at other financial channels, just basically just trying to get some tips um, on how I can better um, deliver my messages on my channel. And what I came across while I was scrolling is a lot of these financial channels, guys, they're always trying to sell you something. They want you to buy a course. They want you to buy a program. They want you to join their online schooling. They want you to come to seminars. Guys, listen, in my opinion, you don't need all of that. Guys, I got out of debt, got my financial life in order to the point where I don't have to worry about money today by just reading and studying. So let me tell you about my background, guys, in case this is your first time on my channel. So guys, I've been with my current employer. It'll be 12 years next month in December, about 14 years ago, guys, a couple years before I started working for my current employers, I was broke as a joke. I had zero. I didn't have two damn pennies to rub together, guys. I was broke. At the time, I was married. I just got divorced this year. Me and my wife had hella bad credit. We had cars repossessed. We were living paycheck to paycheck. We were broke, struggling, pay going to payday loans, the whole nine guys we have been there we done it we did it but guys we decided that we wanted to stop living like that we were making good incomes have had always made good incomes but we decided we wanted to stop being broke we just got tired of living that way paycheck to paycheck with no hope in sight but we got our credit together we got we got some of our debt paid off and then as our credit got better, we was able to build a home. That was something I never thought in a million years I would be able to accomplish or we would be able to accomplish was building a home from the ground up. Designing our home, hiring, hiring a, um, a builder, and building a home. We were able to accomplish that, guys. And I never thought that I would ever be able to experience something like that. Guys, because I grew up broke. I grew up poor. Not a whole lot of money in my life growing up, guys. No silver spoon in my mouth at all. So guys, so we built our house in 2016. And then in 2017, I was on a work assignment. So I was driving out to Minnesota and um, had a lot of windshield time. I decided I would drive instead of flying. It was summertime. And on my way out, I was on, listening to my Sirius XM radio, came across the Dave, Ram Dave Ramsey program, guys. A lot of you have probably heard of the Dave Ramsey and his baby steps. So came across the guys on my radio, started listening to it. I was intrigued. I said, you know what? This is something that I, it was meant for me to hear that podcast. So I started binging it on my drive, checked into my hotel, started binging it, started binging the podcast the entire week I was there on the way back home, binging it even more. I was intrigued. I was fascinated. Somewhere now I see there was a path. I saw a system. Of, of something that was laid out that I could follow to getting out of debt. Got home, talked to my wife about wife about it, and we, she was on board. We attacked the program, guys. We were pretty much Dave-ish, as Dave would say, as some people would say, because we still use our we still use our credit cards. We just got to the point to where we could pay off our credit cards monthly. We got to that point. We saw the value and being able to use credit cards. We worked the program, guys. We did the whole debt snowball thing. You know, tracked out, laid out our, our bills, smallest to largest, started paying those off. You know, once we got out of debt, we built an emergency fund. We started investing, things of that nature, guys. You can get out of debt and build wealth without spending hundreds of dollars on someone's Patreon, joining someone's Patreon buying classes and courses and going to seminars 
We did it, guys. We got out of debt just by reading books, upping our financial knowledge, our financial literacy, reading books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Good to Great, The Psychology of Money, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. We got out of debt and started building wealth by reading books, going on the internet, reading about investing, reading about the value of money and how money actually works. We bought a few books. We read. Building wealth is easy, but you cannot build wealth, guys, if you are if you are in debt. It will not happen. If you got car payments, credit card debt, you're carrying credit card debt, carrying balances month to month, private loans, student loans, payday loans, you cannot build wealth if you are living with consumer debt, guys. Guys, I've been investing for just about going on eight years, investing seriously. I invest in my company's 401k plan. I invest in my private brokerage account through Vanguard. And I'm building wealth, guys. I invest 20% of my work salary into my 401k. And then I invest another $500 to $1,000 a month in my brokerage account. All of I'm building assets, guys. All of my money is in assets. My home, my current home that I just bought this year has significant equity. I have a 401k with a significant amount in it. I have a brokerage account with significant amount of money in that. And then my plan is when interest rates start going down, is to rent out my current home and then take money out because it's an asset and have that money pay for my next home. I'll put a renter in my current home to have, to have them pay off this balance. Then I'll take money out of this home, put a down payment on my new home, and I'll work on paying that while my renter pays this current home off. Or I should say, my assets that I'm building will pay off my next home. Guys, that's how the rich stays rich, by building assets. Like I said, you don't have to spend thousands on programs and courses and things like that to get out of debt and build assets. What you need to do is buy some books, read, get on the internet, and gain knowledge. That's free. You just need to make a committed decision. You want better. You want to get out of debt. Stick to it. Set some goals. Make a plan and run with it. Make a committed decision, guys. If I can come from absolutely zero 14 years ago to a positive net worth 14 years later. Actually, I didn't really start investing till about eight years ago. Guys, you can do this. Anybody can do this. It just takes you having a committed, making a committed decision to do it. So guys, that's my rant today. I'm building your financial literacy. Again, please like this video. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Frank Talks Money. Please share the video and leave a comment. Have a great evening, everyone. And once again, financial decisions you make today will highly impact your financial future tomorrow.